Hello everyone, this is Bound Sphinx. Today we are going to be looking at the Forgotten Construction Set modding tool for Kinshi. Now you can either launch this by pressing play on your Steam library, uh, like so, or you can go to the file path if you know where it is. Um, where Whichever drive you installed it on, it's going to be under Steam Files, Steam Apps, Common, Kenshi. And then once you're here, if you scroll down, you'll eventually see the forgotten construction set. We're just going to launch it through Steam just because I already have it pulled up. Okay, so we are going to create ourselves a new mod. So we're going to first deselect everything and then hit this button to create a new mod file. Now we're going to call this the Soldiers of Black Desert City. Alright, so we'll create that. Everything else except for the base game info is selected, or deselected rather, and our new mod is active. So we'll press done. Okay. So first things first, we're going to look right here. This is all of the criteria for editing most of the things in the game. We're going to go to Game Starts. Now we're going to make a copy of the Nobody Start and kind of customize it. So we're going to go ahead and press Duplicate. We're going to name these guys the Soldiers of Black Desert City. We're going to say, for the description, we're just going to put five skelly boys. If I can spell. Um, the difficulty for this would be arguably easy because of the way we're going to set it up. We're going to start with about 5,000 katans. Uh, the style will probably, it's kind of up to you how you want to set these different things right here. Um, now we are going to go ahead and remove all of these things from here because we're going to start adding in our own. Now under our game start, which we have right here, that we just created, we have a few different criteria that we can add. So first we're going to want to add a town. We're going to do Black Desert City, of course. So that's where our characters will spawn. Uh, as far as research, we're going to do low start and default start. So we just start out with some very simple uh, research to kind of help us along, nothing too serious. Um, you can click on these and it'll kind of show you what it gives you. Um, we are gonna force the race because we do want these gents to be skeletons. So we'll do that. Um, and then for faction relations, we're going to go ahead and make ourselves buddies with the anti-slavers, the flotsam ninjas. Uh, if you hold control on each thing you select, you can select more than one thing at a time, just in case you're wondering how I'm doing that. Uh, and then we're also going to obviously need the skeletons themselves right here. Okay, so we're just going to go ahead and set these to 25 each. And for now, we're going to close this. So now we're going to go to this faction right here. We're going to press this button and go to squads. Now, if we look for the nobodies, we will see start nobody's copy. So we're going to, that's the one that we're going to be using, but we'll go ahead and open this up and we'll rename it. And I'm just for my own kind of way of navigating this a little bit easier. I'm going to put start and then just kind of make a acronym for the name of the squad. The Soldiers of Black Desert City. Perfect. Okay. So what we are going to do is give ourselves five nobodies. This first value will dictate how many the minimum number of them will spawn. And the second is the uh, maximum. Now, if we leave it at zero, and if you can also see when you click on different things, it will appear down here and kind of explain. But we're going to leave it on zero, so that way the number will indefinitely be five. So we're going to go ahead and remove these extra guys right here. Just keep the nobodies. We'll click on them. So 
for all of them, we're going to go ahead and give them standard gear. 20 in mm, their stats to randomization. So what that will do will either raise or lower a character stat randomly by whatever value you put in here. Put strength, unarmed. And there's a few other things that you can do down here. Um, it's pretty intuitive if you want to actually check it out and see what's going on with it. Um, but for what we're doing right now, it's not super important. We are going to go ahead and remove a few of these things and just kind of change them around. All right, so we are going to give them backpacks, thieves backpacks to be exact. We are going to give them some clothing. We'll give them the assassin's rags and the ninja pants. Give them in their inventory skeleton repair kits just one each for their race we have that forced um if you have if you remember when we looked at our very first start that we pulled up we forced race to skeleton so we really don't need to uh edit that um stats is another way so it's a little bit more in depth rather than just putting in these values. So for example, your combat stats are going to be like your attack, defense, um, things of that nature. But if you actually use these stats drop down and add, what I like to do is generally just press one and then open. And then you can edit every single stat that they have from here if that's what you want to do. Um, but for what I'm doing today, no need. Weapon level, we're going to make it uh, Skeleton Smiths. And then lastly, we're going to give them Nodachis, because I really like these quite a bit. All right. So that's looking good. We'll just close all that out for now. I don't believe that there is anything else in particular we need to add. It should be just fine with our guys set up the way that they are. Um, we're also going to call this the Soldiers of City, just so things are a little bit easier to find and navigate. Okay, excellent. So now what we need to do is go back to our game start, click on our new one. If, um, if you're ever not sure, if you're working on something within a new mod, it will be lit up green like this uh, to indicate that it is a new thing that you have created within the mod file. So we'll click on that. All right, we've got everything we added before. Now we just need our squad. So we'll add that. And then we will find our new squad that we just created. We'll add that in. Excellent. And that is pretty much all we need to do. So last but not least, we're gonna need to make sure that we save this. To do that, you just simply go up here press save. If you ever notice up here in the mod name, if there is a little star or an asterisk, it is not saved. So make sure that that's gone. Um, it never hurts to press save. So do that and then go ahead and launch up Kinchi. Now when you do that, you're going to want to look at your mod list and scroll down. It should be at the bottom. And we're just going to want to make sure that right there, the mod we just created, the Soldiers of Black Desert City, is enabled save that and then we'll press OK. Okay so here we are back in Kenchi. We'll press new game and look for our custom start. Excellent! It's got all the criteria we entered so we'll press begin. Okay so if we take a look at our characters they obviously have the gear that we set them up with. This is a standard Nodachi um, just based on the color. He's got the thieves backpack, the assassin's robes, and the ninja gi, which is perfect. So we'll press confirm. We'll take a look at their stats and their gear. All right, so everything is within standard. They got their repair kits. And then back to the stats, they are well within the criteria we set. So that pretty much sums it up.